What is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus, even the S10e, and you wanna know how to do a forced restart. Very, very simple, it's a two key combination. Now, when you do a forced restart, you're not gonna be losing any data or any files or any photos or videos. Doing a forced restart is basically like if you have your computer on and you press and hold the power button until it turns off, okay? Now, the reason why you wanna do a forced restart is maybe because your phone is frozen or maybe you have like a black screen of death and you're not able to reboot it or anything, okay? So it's a two key combination. Let's just pretend this uh, S10 here has a, um, a black screen here, or actually we'll go with the S10 Plus here. Let's pretend we have a black screen here. So it's a two key combination. You wanna press and hold until you see the Samsung logo. So it's gonna be the volume down, not the Bixby button, but it's the volume down button and the power button. You wanna press and hold these two buttons until you see the Samsung logo. Let's go ahead and give it a try, ready? One, two, three, press and hold. Let's just pretend this phone is black, pretend there's nothing on my screen. Keep holding on to both the buttons. Do not let go until we see that Samsung logo appear. I'm still holding on to both of the buttons. I'm still holding on. I'm not gonna let go. I just felt it vibrate and now the Samsung logo appears. Now I can go, go ahead and let go. Now the thing is, if you're still having issues with your uh, S10 here, you guys got to try this five or six more times. I mean, there are times where I tried it on the sixth or maybe even the seventh time and it finally got my phone back up and running. Now, another thing is too is after the uh, fifth or sixth or seventh time and it's still not working, the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and plug your phone in and let it charge for like three, five or ten minutes. And then while the cable is still in there charging, then go ahead and try the force restart again and... If it still doesn't work, then give that another five or six more times. And that should get most of you guys up and running. If you guys still have issues or anything, uh, just comment below. I have tons of other um, solutions if your phone is continually frozen still or still has a black screen. Anyways, there you guys go. Guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.